All right, guys, Noble Training here. I have a lot of questions about the TRX or straps. Um, a great tool, we do a lot of things with them, but the number one thing we do with them is horizontal pulling or inverted rows. You can do them from a Smith machine or a barbell if you put it at a certain height, but these are ideal. I'm just gonna show you one variation today. Excuse the dog. If you have a uh, beginner or a weaker client, what you wanna do is cut the angle. So you wanna keep them higher. So what I want them to do is I encourage hip extension, neutral neck, my toes up off the floor, and I want to put my thumbs into my armpits. Now that's pretty easy for me because I've been doing these a long time, but you'd be surprised how much trouble beginners have with these. As they get more advanced, maybe even before I cut their angle, I'll teach them to internally rotate their shoulders, meaning they're going to kind of be in a booing position. What this will do is now when they concentrically pull, they will externally rotate the shoulder. Great to really activate the, the sits muscles or the external rotators, the rhomboids, the mid traps. It gives you a good burn. As weeks go by, months go by, they progress. Now we send them under further. Now I don't just send them under and keep a long moment arm and keep them fully extended. What I'll do is send them under, have them bend their knees, extend their hips, neutral neck, externally rotate as they pull, and that's a little more difficult. Again, a couple weeks, a couple months, it depends on the time goes by. Now we lengthen the moment arm. Legs will be straight, same thing. Once they can get, usually my rule of thumb is four sets, 10 reps clean, we can progress. More advanced clients, now we elevate their feet so we're fully inverted. So heels on the bench, same exact thing. It's vital that they extend their hips. Glutes tight, neutral head, pull, pull. Now again, once they master that, I can throw a weighted vest on them. Give it a shot.